G'day guys, Sci-Fi back again with another action figure review. Just a quick one, I'm in the middle of my work week, but yeah, I picked this up on Friday night shopping and I thought, yep, do it up while I can, while it's new. All right, and this took me forever to get. I'm happy that it's around. I still remember when this first came out in The Mandalorian season one, how cool. New Republic security droid, great, of the box. How cool, That's number 23, great artwork there, there we are. New Republic used these security droids for protection and combat, including aboard high security correctional transports, like the one the Mandalorian boarded in an effort to rescue the prisoner, Quinn. Great, yeah, that was a tough episode as well, I loved it, really do. Alright, let's be quick about this, so cool, alright, let's have a look at the figure. Okay. That's fantastic. How cool. It's nice, it's about six inches long. I wouldn't say it's any taller. I don't think it is. Don't know what Stan says. No, it is. It's 155 mils, so it's a little bit over. Bit over 15 centimetres. Looks great. Love it, yep. Pretty sure you get head movement and all that. I haven't had a bit of a play with it yet. Abdo moves. Nice clear emblems. There we go. New Republic emblem. Fantastic. Uh, supposedly they're making the MiGs Mayfield with the shoulder cannon as well. A bit later on down the track. Again, that is one I would not mind getting. Look at the back. Gee, they put in a lot of nice detail, didn't they? That is so cool. Only briefly seen <coughs> in the show. Doesn't really remind me of any other droid. Is the, can you see any thing about it? No, it's very new. Maybe a bit EV-99 without the elongated head. Maybe a bit HK-47. Speaking of again, after seeing in SDCC them making another HK 80 something droid, I can forget what, what it's from, I think it's from the Mandalorian. Alright, how cool! A new character. Let's hope they do one of these in the 375 line too for a bit of, a bit of army building. You only need to get a couple. And he's hoping beyond Meg's Mayfield, they get the other guys. Uh, the big fellow with the long hair and the beard from uh, the Sons of Anarchy fellow and um, the other guys, the big Devronian and the Twi'leks. That'd be great. Yeah, cool. I do have one of the uh, other droids in the dustbin looking droids. What are they called? Oh, not BG. I don't know. Got that from a Disney pack. Ah, oh, shit. What's it called again? RG. The RG droids like from uh, Jawa's Sandcrawler from episode one, but then the floaty looking ones. Yeah, I got one of those ones from a Disney pack. So that sits nicely in my Mandalorian 375 line. This again will sit nicely in my six inch line yeah it stands all right it's not bad it's a little top heavy comes with this weapon a basic either rebellion or now republic weapon <coughs> or um bespin weapon two colors on it no real sort of scoring on it or anything all right so there you go what do you guys think i dig it all right that's it for that also, while I was in the store on the Friday night, I managed to pick up the final one of these. Mandalorian Death Watch Airborne Trooper. Still packed it. And I'm not think I'm thinking I might because I've got all three of these yeah, Death Watch guys, and there's the other two up there. I might do a quick review if you want to see it. Yeah. A lot of Clone Wars Mandalorian Death Watch Troopers are coming out. Alright, there we go, 
Hope you like it. The five minute mark. Let's work tomorrow. Back again in the old ISEU. And speaking of, I will see you later on. I will do that Clone Wars Mandalorian Death Watch set if you want. A bit later on down the track in a few days. Give us a comment down below what you want to look at. And let me know what you think of this guy. Alright guys. Alright. Sci-fi out. And this is the way.